In this video I'm going to be telling you about a video converter that you may or may not have considered before from AMD that is available in Catalyst Control Center. So one of the first things we need to do is open Catalyst Control Center and then go to AMD Video Converter. Next, click on Start Video Converter. And when it pops up, what we need to do is select our video source. For this video, I'm going to be using a large file video uh, produced in Fraps. The reason why these video files are so large are because it's uncompressed video. So it has a large audio and video bitrate, which is why they're usually high quality. This can cause problems for programs like Sony Vegas, which tend to stop responding for a little bit when you're trying to import the raw video files. This AMD Video Convert compresses it down while keeping it high quality. So just select it, or open it rather, and you'll see all of the specs about the video, the the bit rate, the frames per second, or frame rate, aspect ratio, date created, file size, and all that lot. So, just click on the output folder. You can check or uncheck generate auto numbered files if you want to. I'm going to uncheck it. Uh, click on next, and now we can select our output video format from Epic 1 to uh, Windows Media Video and Sony Portable Gaming Device. This 720p H.264 and 1080p H.264. Uh, there's also MPEG-2 in both of those formats. What we're going to select in this video, or what I'm going to select anyway, is 720p H.264, just for this example. You can select the quality. It's always best to point to the highest, but you can point it lower if you want to. And here in the bottom, it tells you the input file size, the estimate output file size, and also the bit rate, which is okay still for 15 megabits per second. If you want to, you can change the output file name, but I'm just going to leave it as uh, the default one. And then we'll just click on next. Now, in normal video converters, like any video converter which is free and works solely on the CPU, it can take a while. On my system, it takes around half an hour to convert this one kind of file size in video. But as you can see, with this AMD video converter that uses your ATI GPU to convert the video through GPU acceleration, it's going to take three minutes over, just over. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.